Step two, torque by sequence to 22 foot pounds. Pins the turbo motor and full time four wheel drive dual. So now we're ready to install our head bolts. What we want to do is we want to oil them. Here's a good easy way to do that. Oil the threads. Like so. Drop your bolt. Just fit it down. Just snug. Like so. You want to adhere to your bolt pattern according to the diagram. We'll get to that in a second once we start our torque procedure. Oil the bolts. The idea of oiling these bolts is so they torque up smoothly and evenly. One by one, starting from the middle, then opposite corners, then opposite corners again. All right, now we're gonna uh, form our torque sequence. What we want is a 12-sided uh, bolt or a tool like this to fit over our 12-sided bolts. Uh, this is a 3 8 drive. This is what we took it apart with, but we went and got a half-inch drive to use with our half-inch drive torque wrench, which would be this guy right here. Now, according to our instructions, it says to torque our bolts down to 22 foot-pounds of torque. All right, so we're gonna dial in our uh, torque wrench here, 22. Lock her down. Step two, torque by sequence to 22 foot-pounds. I have my torque wrench set to 22 foot-pounds of torque. So here we go. Tighten bolt number one. Turn the torque wrench till it clicks. Go slow and steady. You don't want to be bouncing your torque wrench. There's our click. Move on to bolt number two. This is a slow, steady pull. There's our click. Move on to number three. Number four. Two. Number five. And number six. All right. Step two includes us to tighten down to 51 pounds. Is that correct? 51 pounds, yeah. All right, let's sort of reset our torque meter here. 51. Following numerical order once again. Number one, bolt, 51 pounds of torque. We're gonna keep a steady pull on that torque wrench. There we go. Three. There we go. Four. Six.
All right, step three dictates us to uh, loosen the bolts 180 degrees and then loosen them 180 degrees again. Altogether, that's one full rotation, which essentially all the bolts will be entirely loose. Now doing it this way requires us to like actually use our line of sight. So I'm gonna use a uh, straight half inch drive breaker bar. Line up my 12 sided sockets where I have something even to count against. Now we loosen these, we're gonna to have to reverse our sequence. We're gonna start from six and count down to one. And we're gonna do this twice, 180 degrees each for a total of 360 degrees. Starting from six, all right. Just like that, that's one. 180 degrees for that bolt. Go from five. You know, this is, you know, this is kind of an eyeball procedure. There are certain tools that like measure angle, but I mean, you can't go wrong if you can like see straight. If you could draw a straight line, this just works just fine. Five, four. Now try to be slow and steady. You don't want to bounce on it. You don't want to be going like this to get her going. Just boom, once it goes, just kind of just keep an even pull on it. It's all fluid. Two. One. Okay, now we're gonna do this again. And doing it this way, the bolts are essentially all the way loose. So, I mean, I'm just gonna thread it out entirely. Look at that, that's loose, that's factory torque. Six, five, and you'll feel the bolt let go. You'll feel it like just, you know, like you're unscrewing a milk lid, pickle jar, what have you. Four, three, two, One. Now, if we were decided to pull these bolts out and pull his head off, you'll see that where the uh, the ring grew, the fire ring on the gasket, and all the stampings along the outside have smushed down and are grained to the block to give us a tight seal. All right, next step is tight bolts one and two to 25 foot pounds. Back to our <coughs> torque wrench. Reset our dial, we're gonna back 25 it 25 pounds. Turn until she clicks. There's our click. It's gonna take a little less force this time around because everything's flat down. All right, and three, four, five, and six are at another reading. What number is that? Three, four, five, six to 11. Number four, 11 pounds. What? Did you do three? Oh, I forgot number three. Let's just pretend we did number three. But three and four, they're opposite of each other. It's fine. Yeah, Dude, it's cool. I know. I'm not going to be pretty. The idea is a diagonal pattern from outside, from inside to out. Number five. Number six. So what this operation has done so far is now squished our gasket and seated it into place. Tighten bolts, one, two, three, four, five, and six in numerical order to 90 degrees. Here goes 90 degrees for number one. Number two. Number three. Number four, five, six. And that's how you get a head gasket on, folks. Well, you know, a head, not just the head gasket, because it's like, the whole thing, you know, just 
You know, it's a big country. Just want to clarify that. 